Greetings from St. Perpetua Community. All of us are dealing with loss of some kind as a result of the pandemic. Each year at the end of June, I travel to the Midwest, Ohio and Michigan, to spend time with my religious community, my fellow Oblates, and to visit my family. Not this year. It was only the second time in 50 years I was unable to make that trip. It was a real loss for me. I know I'll be able to take that trip again in the future, but I still regret the missed opportunity of my annual pilgrimage. For many others, their loss is something that could be described as ambiguous loss, loss that doesn't hold anything like resolution. Since March, I've stood at the graveside with several mourners who, because of the COVID restrictions, were unable to mark the passing of their loved ones into eternity with the church's rituals that are so comforting. Only a handful of immediate family members could gather at the cemetery. One parishioner insightfully named her situation Grieving Limbo. She said, My grief over the loss of my devout Irish mother is stuck because our large extended family hasn't been able to have the rosary, the funeral mass, and burial that help the grieving process to move forward. These are life experiences and situations which can't be recaptured or repeated. They have to be endured, and that's never easy. My niece's husband lost his job a couple months ago as a result of the downsizing caused by the pandemic. At age 59, that sudden crash of a solid career is a scary situation to face. What does the future hold? Will I be able to find another job? In the current economic climate, when? How do we continue on with hope when so much around us is shrouded in uncertainty? Author Ernest Kurtz published a book entitled The Spirituality of Imperfection, in which one reads, we modern people are problem solvers, but the demand for answers crowds out patience, and perhaps especially patience with mystery, with that which we cannot control. This spirituality of imperfection is thousands of years old, and yet it is timeless, eternal, and ongoing, for it is concerned with what in the human being is irrevocable and immutable, the essential imperfection, the basic and inherent flaws of being human. Maybe there are two critical lessons we are learning or relearning from these uncertain times. There are problems in life that don't have a perfect fix. We have to learn to live with ambiguity. As psychiatrist and author Pauline Boss writes, the idea of holding two opposing ideas in your mind at the same time is very useful for stress reduction. Lesson one, we are merely human beings. Lesson two, there is a God whom we believe holds us close and will not let us go. As St. Paul writes in his letter to the Romans, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit.